We're here today to demonstrate how to set up for a pelvic exam that we perform here in the emergency department for anyone that comes in with complaints of possible irritation to their pelvic region, vaginal bleeding, or testing for STDs. Um, we will assist the physician in this procedure, but we are, as nurses and an ER staff here at Sullivan Hospital are required to set everything up and get the patient prepped and ready for the physician to come in and perform the pelvic exam. I have two employees here today to assist with the demonstration on setting up the pelvic bed and uh, the pelvic uh, setup devices. So I will turn the camera to them and they will demonstrate. All right, so first when you know you're gonna do a pelvic, you wanna go ahead and get everything ready. You wanna lay down a chuck and then in this drawer should be everything that you need. Um, you will need, you may need a lolly, these are called lollipops depending on if they're bleeding really heavily, but I'd always put those out just in case you need them. Um, there's also smaller swab, a wet prep, lube, and then a speculum. These speculums do not require light. They actually, um, there's a little pull tab and then the light is on and then you just throw it in the trash. There is a, there's two different sizes. There's a small and a large. Um, usually we use small for most people, but on occasion you may need to use a bigger size. And how do you um, do the swabs in this serum there to send oh, it to lab? So this is the wet prep. Do you want me to open it up? Sure. So this is the wet prep. You'll open it up and Doc will um, use these this tip once he's put it in in the vagina. You will open this like so, and then this goes in here. You kind of roll it around a little bit to get all the goodies in there, and then you kind of just, you know, get it off, and then you take that out. And then you close it like so, put it in a biohazard bag. And now Tana will demonstrate how to set up the gynae bed okay. on our very, beautiful patient here that is expected to be 12 weeks pregnant, experiencing some vaginal bleeding. All right, so you just kind of have them get ready. And then there's two things you pull down. And then out here, you pull this leg thing up and you pull this leg thing out. All right, so I'm gonna have you skew all the way down and you want them, their butt to be almost to the end. So all the way down, all the way down. Keep going, all the way down. And then you can just lean back. Go ahead and lean back and relax. And then the doc may want a stool to sit on or the bed up, however. There is also a lamp that they may request. It should be in room nine as well. And if for some odd reason you don't have this gynae bed, sometimes we're busy with them, you can use a bedpan. Um, you can go ahead and clap, show them how to collapse the bed. Oh yeah. So pull this up and put that back. All right, you can go up, ma'am. Sometimes if you don't have a the gynae bed, you can use a big bed pan, flip it upside down. All right, pop up for me, lift your butt. Okay, and you, go ahead. And you'll have them kind of scoot down the best you can, but it manipulates like you were in a gynae bed. So we have two different types of swabs we can do for the pelvic exams, and they're over here in this cabinet. And then you can call lab if you need um, additional supplies for this. The first one is a wet prep for um, testing of trichomonas and then for white blood cells. And you use these swabs here, just regular cotton tip applicators. You don't have to use both of them, just one's fine. The doctor will put it in there and um, swab the cervix and vaginal region. You'll dip this in, swirl it around, and remove it before closing the package, sending just the, um, the solution down to the lab that's been swabbed. 
Um, the second one is for GC and Chlamydia. It comes in packaging like this that you can get down from the lab. When you open it up, it comes with one large tip cotton, cotton tipped uh, applicator, which can be used for excess discharge or bleeding, but not necessarily has to be used. The second packaging looks like this, which contains your serum for your test and then your swab. So the doctor will have this swab and they'll swab the cervix. And then when you're done with swabbing, you'll have this open and ready. You could give the doctor both these swabs at the same time and they can kind of swab, swab them at the same time. Sometimes doctors do that. So you can hand them like this. They could go in and they could swab them together. And then this one, the white one with the break off, goes into the serum for GC and chlamydia and you snap it right at the red and drop it in. And that goes, that whole thing gets recapped, labeled and sent down to the lab. The second one is just a regular cotton tip applicator that goes in your trichomonas. Let me know if you have any questions.